It is 8 p.m., longer than 24 hours. And you can see everything that is still going through a chemical process. So I'm going to leave this thing in overnight. And then pull it out in the morning. All right, battery charger's on. And it has been 48 hours. Looking down inside. There's a tiny, tiny bit of bubbles coming off that bolt. And I'm kind of upside down here. Hold on. a little bit of fizzing on that wire and on that wire as far as the barrel fizzing there is some but very very little fizzing and then you get to the tip here well that is clearly fizzing. So, because the barrel tip is still fizzing, I think it's inside the barrel where the fizz is coming out of. So because the tip of the barrel is still fizzing, I figured 24, maybe 48 hours would be enough. I'm gonna leave this in a whole nother day. So I'll pull this out tomorrow and hopefully there'll be zero fizzing left. All right, so this is like, I don't even know, five days in here? And those little bits of rust right there are not rust on the gun, they're just sediment. See, it's just sediment in the water. And there's the barrel. There's all the rust in the bottom. And there's the rust that has collected in the last three days on the new sacrificial piece of metal. So, I'm going to try to not break my little light I got here. And it's already been disconnected. There was no more fizzing going on. I'm going to shake this a little bit. Pull this thing out. I'll give you a much better look here in just a moment. But I think that's a total of five days on the electrolyte solution. I'm thoroughly impressed. And now I'm going to take a wire brush to it, get the first sanding coat on it, and get some WD-40 on it so I can uh, keep it oiled until I'm ready to do some real work to it. So here is the barrel after the electrolytic solution or electrolysis or whatever you want to call it, uh, electrolyte solution. What I've done is I've taken some really coarse steel wool and I've done one just kind of like a smooth buffing. You can see the tip of the barrel here, I didn't get very good. Uh, but as you buff it, you'll start removing the metal off this thing. and that's in essence what you're trying to do is remove uh, not a lot of metal but you're trying to remove all of the finish so there's no more blue left so by the time you're done you're going to be left with a bright silver looking colored barrel so uh, I use WD-40 and steel wool if you want to buff it by hand but I'm going to need some much thinner still finer steel wool than this uh, towards the final stages because if you look closely See those little tiny scratch lines? And those little lines are there because, in essence, these little pieces of metal are leaving these tiny micro fine scratch lines. Not a problem because it will be buffed out. If you use sandpaper, your scratch lines are going to look more aggressive, but 
uh, it doesn't matter what scratches you put into the surface of the gun as long as when it's done um, it looks completely smooth and there's not a single blemish on the metal face so just use if you're gonna buff it by hand thick core steel wool with no chemicals no Ajax or soap on it um, and then move to a fine fine and a super fine steel wool you'll have no scratches it'll look perfect if you want to put it in the bead blaster and uh, blast it with walnut or glass beads or something like that that would probably work too you just don't want to remove too much material and you want to make sure the sanding process is even so this is after about I don't know 10 solid minutes of sanding and you can see you saw little sanding lines but that's fine all that stuff will get sanded out as we go up in grit so I'm using just regular wood sandpaper 150 grit by 3M this is a general purpose sandpaper but it's pretty much for for wood you guys have used this before when you sand your wood uh, when you're gonna paint or stain or something so um, spraying WD-40 on the sandpaper and on the barrel just to get it uh, more of a wet consistent pull and I'm gonna sand it with a 150 then the 220 then probably the 400 and then the 600 I'll probably end up finishing off with the 600 uh, if that's not fine enough um, I'll use some really fine steel wool or maybe even go up to 1200 grit but 600 should be smooth enough for what I'm looking for and there's gonna be some pitting in the gun like these sections here but that'll just add to the overall look it'll look really nice so uh, with this gun I, I can strap it to a lathe or hook it up to a drill and really polish it out and I may end up doing that in the process because I'm gonna sand with a the grain then I'm gonna cross sand it in a spiral pattern and then sand again with the grain so uh, doing that enables you to really get a nice buff out of it so uh, I've got probably two or three hours with the sanding here to go and I'll show you the next step here in a day or two